Hi guys, welcome to my channel Cardiologist. Previously, we spoke about the draw panel tools, which are used mainly to create any drawing despite the complexity. In this video, you will learn about the modify panel tools. Basically, these tools are used to modify your drawing, such as trim, mirror, copy, offset, array, and many other tools you will learn through this tutorial. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the alert button to know more about AutoCAD and many other engineering software. Move command. First, let's draw a circle and a rectangle. I already explained to you guys how to draw circle and rectangle when I was teaching you about draw panel tools in previous tutorial. Then click on move command. The command line is instructing you to select objects. So select the circle and hit space, then specify base point. Click anywhere close to the object you want to move. Move the circle in any direction you want. Right now I can move it just horizontally or vertically because ortho mode is on. Press F8 to turn it off if you want to remove the directional constraint. I will just click here to move the circle to this location. Let's activate the move command using the shortcut M. Hit F8 to turn auto mode on and select the rectangle. Hit enter. This time I want to move the object a specific distance to the left. Let's say 25 mm and hit enter. Moreover, you can select the objects you want to move first, then activate the move command to move them anywhere you want. So select the objects, type M the move command shortcut, move the selected object anywhere you want. Copy command. Click on copy command from modify panel, select objects you want to copy, I will just select the circle and hit space. Then specify the copy base point. You can make as many copies as you want for the object. So I will move the cursor left and click once for my first copy. I will move it down and click once for a second copy. I will move to the right and type a specific distance from the base point to make a third copy. Let's say 40 mm and hit enter. Even I can turn ortho mode off and make a copy in any direction. When you are done copying, just hit space or skip button to end the command. Type CO the copy shortcut to activate the copy tool again. Select the rectangle and hit space. Choose the base point to start copying from. I will activate the ortho mode to copy the object exactly in the vertical direction. I will copy the rectangle specific distance downward, let's say 20 mm and hit enter, then 40 mm and hit enter, then 60 mm and hit enter twice to end the command. Rotate command. Click on rotate command from modify panel. Select objects you want to rotate. I will press select both rectangle and circle and hit enter. Specify base point, then rotate in any direction you want. Don't forget to turn ortho mode off to rotate the object freely in any angle. Also, you can activate the rotate command using the shortcut RO. Mirror command. Click on mirror command from the modify panel. Select objects you want to mirror and hit space. Specify first point of mirror line. Let's click somewhere here and move the cursor vertically to specify the second point. 
After that, the command line will instruct you whether you want to erase the source object or not. I will hit enter for no. This time, select the object first, type MIR for mirror shortcut and hit space. Specify first point of mirror line. Let's click somewhere here and move the cursor horizontally to specify the second point. This time, I want to erase the source object, so type Y for yes and hit enter. Trim command. We have already explored the trim command in previous tutorials when we were learning about the construction line. Extend command. Before exploring extend command, first let's trim half of this rectangle. Draw an X line as a reference exactly at the center of this rectangle. Trim this part and remove the X line. Now draw another X line as a reference also somewhere here. Then click on this little arrow to choose the extend tool. I want to extend this half rectangle to this X line. In order to do that, first select the object you want to extend to which is the X line in our case, and hit enter, then cross select the lines you want to extend. Remember that the shortcut for extend command is EX. Similar to all modify panel tools, you can also select the object first, then activate the extend command. Fillet command. Click on fillet command from the modify panel, the command line is providing you several options. Choose radius by typing R and hit enter. Then specify the fillet radius. Let's say 1 mm and hit enter. Then click on this corner and this corner. Repeat the fillet command using the shortcut FIL. If you want to use the same radius, just choose multiple by typing M and hit enter in order to fill it several corners at the same time. When you are done, just hit the escape button. Chamfer command. Click on this little arrow beside fill it and choose chamfer. The command line will ask you to specify the first line beside other options. Before selecting lines, we need to specify the chamfer distance. So choose distance, then type 2 for the first distance and hit enter. I want the second distance to be the same. So just hit enter again, then you can start selecting lines. Repeat the chamfer command using the shortcut CHA. If you want to use the same chamfer distance, just Choose multiple by typing M and hit enter in order to chamfer several corners the same time. Offset command. Click on offset tool from the modify panel in order to offset your object a specified distance or through a point. Specify the distance to be 2 mm and hit enter. Select object you want to offset and then just move the cursor away or toward the object and click once to specify the offset point. The command is not ended yet, so I can repeat offsetting this object as much as I want the same way I just did. Press the space to end the command. Repeat the offset command using the shortcut OFF. If you want to use the same offset distance, just hit enter and select the object. This time, type M for multiple in order to repeat offsetting the object as many times as you want by specifying the offset point in any direction you want. So in this tutorial, I spoke about all the necessary commands from the modify panel 
and those commands or tools are used with the draw planet tools I spoke about in previous tutorials to create 2D drawings. We will practice using these tools later on by doing many exercises together after you become familiar with the status bar tabs and dimensioning. Feel free to go through this tutorial again in case it was too fast for you or you couldn't catch up. Of course, you could always stop the video, apply the moves I talked about and play back. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the alert button to view my latest.